So news, Kristen Tatar, she is doing a great job. And I don't know if it's her or her publicist or her team. I know she's added on some people this off season, but she's been doing a great job of like keeping the headlines this off season yeah. without moving uh, manufacturers or anything. You know, last week it was the gambling company, uh, PFA or P U something. Can't remember. Sorry. Uh, this week it's Porsche. So it's uh, Estonia, P Porsche, Estonia. Kristen Tatar signs co cooperation agreement with Porsche, Estonia. She will receive a Porsche Macan. Is that, I'm not, I'm not with the fancy cars. How do you pronounce that? Anyone know? M-A-C-A-N, Macan? Not even going to try. McCann or Macan? That's fine. I'm going to get roasted in the comments. That's fine. I don't know luxury. I'm sorry. Um, and the photos of this are actually incredible. So if Silas can throw these photos up so everyone that's watching can see this. Uh, she's got some pretty cool disc, it looks like. Some commemorative... Commemor oh my gosh, help me with that word, please. Commemorative disc? <laughs> commemorative. Commemorative, commemorative yeah. disc? Um, there you go, yeah. And the, the photos of this are crazy. So it looks like she has... Uh, Porsche drive Kristen Tatar. And so I think the drive is some sort of new thing that Porsche is pushing with their new, new, uh, cars. And then she had, uh, she has one of the best signatures. That signature is freaking nasty, uh, on the car. And so I think it was hard to kind of get more information on this. I, I know we're going to probably try to get Kristen on at some point because her interview last time was awesome. So this will definitely be something that we can definitely bring up when she comes back on the show. I, what the, the sense of what I got is we'll give you this car to drive around for the year and we'll work together. I, I don't know yeah. if there's money being tr exchanged. I'm not entirely sure, but that's all, that's all I know. So we'll talk to her and just kind of see, but this is huge. Yuli Porsche, a luxury vehicle now uh, dipping their toes into disc golf. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, that's amazing. I, I feel like that's like a European thing is getting cars involved. I, didn't they have your like Ford as one of the sponsors for, for a few European players Open for, or th they were the sponsor for the president's cup yeah. last year. Right. So yeah. they, they've, they've, they've definitely been in there. Um, but like you said, luxury car, I mean, <laughs> Porsche is a nice brand. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really nice. Uh, yeah. Kudos to her for, like you said, just keep, um, oh, she just Porsche. Keeps people want us to pronounce it properly. Sorry. Porsche. Porsche. Yeah. Sorry. Porsche. But she I feel just like keep... people say Porsche. Yeah, but for sure. <laughs> the, the, the actual pronunciation is Porsche. Okay. Isn't there a song? Hey, little Porsche. I want to. Yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> but, uh, she's been doing a great job of just keeping or kind of push pushing forward with all of these sponsorships and stuff um i think it's huge honestly because for one for the fpo division to see somebody who's able to bring in those nice big companies um kind of gives life uh to their division and and hopefully the rest of the field can kind of see that there's some great marketing schemes out there for them and maybe that'll help boost them up. Maybe we'll see some other nice sponsorships coming for, for some more FPO players. And, and, but I mean, Christian, I, I don't think there's a better sponsor for her. She's, she's a, she's freaking luxury. You know what I mean? Like she is clean all the way through and through one of my favorite players. So congratulations to her on. I'm, I'm going to make the awesome analogy. Deal. Yeah. I'm going to make the analogy to, uh, to Ronda Rousey here of where, I don't, I, I'm going to disagree a little bit in the short term of where I don't think what's happening, what she's doing right now is actually going to change anything with the other FPO players. Might I not. think she, I think she's head and sh shoulders above everyone else. And so she is going to like, she is the top dog. And so companies can look at, okay, we can get massive value from working with her now what that could do down the road is elevate everyone else to where right. down the road. Now more people are paying attention to FPO, more money's in FPO. And then that comes, 
but I don't think this signing or the gambling sites, I don't think any of those are all of a sudden now going to open the floodgates to where the, now these other companies, no, 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 no. She's the most marketable person right now in FPO. And also I would say probably one of the top five in disc golf. Like she yeah, is massive. And so I, I, to me, this feels like more of a Ronda Rousey situation of where she's going to get everything. She's going to get all the attention. She's going to get all the money and she deserves it. And then down the road that she'll leave a massive wake for everyone else to kind of uh, work their way out of, if that makes sense. Right. I, no, pretty much to my point, I guess, is, is the, if I was in that division, I would look and see what the opportunity is there for me as well and get my button gear get yeah. to work because whenever you have somebody pushing the bar like that, it can only help you if you have that sort of motivation. And I guess that's just the way that my brain works is oh, when yeah. I see those nice things, you know what I mean? I'm, I want those things. I want, you know, that type of recognition. And so I work harder and I hope that's what is, will happen, I guess, with the um, other women in the field. Easier said than done, but if you want to sure. put if you want to put your time stamp on, or uh, put your name a name stamp on the FPO division right now, if you go out and you consistently beat Kristen or you beat her a couple times, yeah. you are going to blow up. I mean, yeah. that's just the na nature of the beast. So uh, it's a perfect, like you're saying, a perfect opportunity for everyone else in FPO to be like, hey. If I, if I can put in the work and I can go out and maybe challenge her, beat her or whatever, because she doesn't really have, she doesn't have a rival. There isn't someone, No, not like right her now. rival is like, hopefully someone in the field plays good that week. And, and hopefully she plays bad to where it, there's a chance that she loses. Hey, and you, you never know what happens in the off season. People put in work, people no, unlock I agree. codes in their own game. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? People are going to be coming after her. So mm -hmm. it, I'm excited i mean the season's coming up so fast man i'm so excited to see what happens and and just disc golf in general because of where the sport's at and the opportunities that are out there i mean every off season is an opportunity for somebody to level up yeah and i would i would even say too i think players are now starting to kind of see the landscape a little bit of where all the manufacturers are at and are realizing oh there there are not like infinite spots out there. Like there yeah. are a, a, a number of spots available. And if you're not in one of those slots, you gotta, you gotta go out and do something to get yourself in the slot. So it will be very, very interesting.